I'm Mr. Poppy from the Nativity Films, alongside... He's my favourite comedian, by the way. Genuinely, Mark Wooten's oh. a genius. Shirley Ghostman, my new best friend, he's a... Yeah. So good. I wish you were, Mark Wooten, <laughs> if you ever wondered, If you ever wondered why Adam hired me, <laughs> we've had a little insight into why. Here's some Monday-flavoured news. WWE Starcade has been branded a disaster. A WWE Superstars contract is set to be expiring soon. And we have an update on Mauro Ranallo. We'll get to that in a bit. So, Starcade. <laughs> oh, good one, it. Oh, I'm trying to decide, Adam, which I preferred. The one we had last night, <laughs> or the one which was headlined by Hulk Hogan versus Ed Leslie. Friends forever. <laughs> he put you in a friendship. <laughs> there were more. There were more at that one than there was last night. Yeah, take a look at the fans in attendance. Oh, Here the, they are. And the crowd go mild. <laughs> oh, Jesus! Oh, right. So oh. we're going to talk about a few of the issues before we get into the. Uh, before we get into the results, first of all, that. <laughs> right, that's, that's a pretty big issue. There were also technical issues both in the arena with mics and at home. Loads and loads of people tweeting that they couldn't even watch it on the network. A, a massive, massive disaster. Also, they didn't deliver properly one of the matches they advertised. They advertised Rusev versus Bobby Lashley. The first time we're going to see them collide in their super heated rivalry, which I'm actually sort of getting into now. That didn't happen. Uh, we'll, we'll run down the results. Right now, <laughs> okay, it is. So, we're going to do the dark matches first. There's a lot of dark matches on this one. No one wanted to be seen here. So, right, it went Seth Rollins defeating Eric Rowan. Nakamura defeating The Miz for the IC title. Then the bit that you maybe saw on the network <laughs> happened. Uh, later on, there was Alistair Black defeating Andrade, which bled into Ricochet defeating Andrade. Good job. <laughs> Jesus. Randy Orton defeated AJ Styles. Roman Reigns defeating King Corbin. And The Fiend Bray Wyatt defeated Braun Strowman for the title in a cage. And now the matches that you may or may not have seen. <laughs> So you could, probably, go on, go probably on. The, like the, the there were two bits that people were into, which was the Ric Flair uh, appearance on the Kevin Owens yes. show that bled into a match between the Street Profits and the OC, but had mic issues, but had mic <laughs> yeah. issues, and the main event, which was essentially meant to be Bobby Lashley versus Rusev, uh, which in which Lashley and Lana came out and went, now he's got a restraining order, we can't have the match, so we win. <laughs> the, the worst thing about this is, right, that's fine. If it's, a, if it's a dark match or something like that, that's fine. But they advertise the match and then they didn't deliver. Look how many other matches you've got that you could have put on. Just put on Randy versus AJ or Ricochet Andrade. Just put anything else on the network. Don't it's, advertise something and then don't deliver it. How it's one of those a curious cases where the dark matches look better than the actual matches that were on. Yeah. With the exception of the, the four-way women's match that was apparently very good. Yes. Uh, Kabuki, Kabuki Warriors retaining against Becky. And Charlotte, Bailey and Sasha, and Alexa and Nikki. Also, uh, the Street Profits defeating the OC, which I think is a curious one. That that aired as well. Um, yeah, yeah, that was that was with Ric Flair in their corner, spurring them on, yeah. cheering on the Street Profits. I just but the OC yeah. are the best tag team in the world. I know it's, it's a house show, but it did <laughs> air as well. And Braun What's, Strowman is the greatest Royal Rumble champion. Let's that's, that's true. You know what? I found it very curious that WWE social media were actually posting pictures from uh, Wyatt versus Strowman. I'd have thought they would have just done that dark and. Like not advertised it to anyone because like why because that's a, that's a money match down the line for sure. I'm baffled. Like I don't know whether it was just a case of it was Thanksgiving. It was Thanksgiving weekend technically, and it was like okay, well not everybody's going to work, so we'll just put a few <laughs> put a few work experience on to put the show together. I'm sure it'll be fine. I you're referring to the wrestlers there. Well, no, the, well the wrestlers I'm sure were, were great. <laughs> <laughs> the ones in the dark. I don't. We know what Bobby that did, but uh, but it's just the whole thing like taking photos of the match and putting them out there. That's somebody not going. Hang on, we're not broadcasting this match, why are we sharing it? I, I don't understand it. Don't understand. They wouldn't have done it if it was just a house show, I don't think. Ah, oh, this, know. this. I didn't no. watch it all. I, I've seen, no, I've couldn't seen, see half of it. Yeah, I, I did try as well. I was going to live stream it, but we still can't do that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Should we move on, Tom? This was, <laughs> let's never do this again. Yeah. Let's never do Sell this Sell it to again. Cody. Be done with it. Give it to he Cody. Deserves it. Jesus. Birthday presents. <laughs> Wasn't it nice to see Matthew Hardy losing to Buddy Murphy in quick order on Monday Night Raw last week? Probably my favourite return after Christian to ECW, actually, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> this moment became instantly classic. Well done, lads. <laughs> top, top four. It's Christian. Uh, so what's happening? What's happening to uh, young Matthew Hardy? PW Insider reckon uh, that his deal is expiring in February. Yes, we uh, believed it was March before, but yes. it's coming up very, very soon. And then he's free to do what he likes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, like, obviously, Jeff won't be joining him because he's off at the moment, and they're going to be extending his contract. It's believed. 
I think that Matt's going to stay. I'm, I'm just going to, I'm yeah. telling you, yeah, even though they're not using him properly, I actually think Matt Hardy, he still has a lot to give, and putting Matt Hardy in matches with young up and coming talent and him putting them over, winning occasionally, sure, but mm. I, I think Matt's really valuable there. This is. Realistically, let's say he signs a three-year deal. It's probably Matt Hardy's last run now. Yeah, we're kind of winding up with Matt Hardy, which is a shame. I'd like, I'd like him to go out doing uh, something a bit more creative. Yeah, like, I'm uh, sure he's got loads of ideas. He's yeah. doing the YouTube stuff at the moment, sort of teasing various things. I'd like him to come out every week with, with one of his different gimmicks. Like, mm -hmm. come out next week to uh, slam a tornado, V1. V1! Uh, V1! Uh. V1! Uh, the money Matt from TNA. That time where he put a suit on and went, I've just come up with a new gimmick. Look at me. I'm Suitman. <laughs> Suitman. <laughs> Suitman. The belief is that they're there on the financials. Mm -hmm. He's happy with what they're offering there. But creative is, is where the, the problem might lie here. So Matt, uh, clearly he does want to keep doing something. He's a really creative guy. And I imagine it's been very frustrating for him just being sort of sat on the shelf and not used and not able to e explore that creativity because he's so good at what he does. And I can't, like, imagine saying this even like 10 years ago. We all knew, knew the Hardy Boys were great. Yeah. And we all probably knew that Jeff was the star at that time. And then Matt went off and just did some of the most amazing stuff. And I'm not counting like Brother Nero out of all that stuff, yeah. but Matt absolutely nailed it. And fair play to the guy. And I want to see more from him. I don't want to see him in a world title picture. But there's lots that he can do to make either weekly show more entertaining. Yeah, I think he's got lots to offer. I think, like in 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 the hyper in the hyper reality that he goes to AEW, I think somebody with that sort of creative nous would do wonders for them too. Yeah, I like the idea of him working alongside their sort of their their digital department and making crazy bonkers videos with them. Yeah, totally. I kind of feel like that'd be a nice thing. But anyway, we'll see what happens in Feb. WrestleMania, you know what? It's kind of WrestleMania's there as well, whether they just go, look, come do WrestleMania. Here's a, here's a big wad of cash. Yeah. Stick around, jump off the pirate ship. <laughs> Someone's got to. Hey, remember that time the Sandman came up to four women about to main event to tell us that the women main eventing is wrong and any male wrestler with any sort of experience would agree? Was this in 1998? Adam Pachiti, was this in 1998? No, it was Saturday evening. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. Geez. Jordan Grace tweeting that exact message out, apparently coming up to the four women in the main event and saying that women main eventing is wrong. Which led to, right, first of all, Tessa went out there, tore him a new one. Good. On the mic. Jordan Grace tweeting that out. It's done lots and lots and lots of retweets. Various wrestlers commenting on it. Uh, Will Ospreay tweeting, uh, can't tell you the amount of times I go out and watch a stardom match and want to retire because their matches are insane. AEW world champion Chris Jericho tweeting, I don't agree. With, very... with the original thing, not with Will Ospreay. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. no, 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 yeah. forget. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am the champion of everywhere, including it, stardom. Everyone's been commenting on this. Yeah. Dustin Rose just saying, women wrestling rocks, I think it was. And you know what? I like. I, I enjoyed Sandman in ECW, but I think I enjoyed Sandman less for the wrestling. Well, I know I enjoyed Sandman less for the wrestling and more for the boom, boom, yeah. boom, the cool music, the Singapore cane. He's not even a wrestler, really, is he? I've seen a video of him now. Like, he comes to the ring wearing pajamas. <laughs> He's always. Who are you to comment on main <laughs> event level, Sandman? I'm, oh. And also, why it's would a you? Bit much. Why would you say that with Jordan Grace in earshot? She's like, she'd rip you to smithereens. Like, she'd break you in half. Pull your trousers down and, then, and make you humble, <laughs> Sam. <Sandman. laughs> and then, just in case she doesn't fancy doing it, you got Tessa friggin' Blanchard there. She'll batter you too. What are you thinking, man? So, the lesson learned is don't be a bigot dick. <laughs> 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 and fine, Alan Moore. Mauro Ronaldo back in the news today. Uh, there was some Twitter uh, shenanigans. I say involving him and Corey, but Mauro didn't say anything. No, it's all on Corey. This. Corey, Corey just Corey made some comments towards Mauro Ronaldo that Mauro took uh, quite a bit of umbrage with, and a lot of other people did as well, uh, resulting in Mauro Ronaldo deleting his Twitter. Mauro Ronaldo also missed Survivor Series, and he missed NXT this past week. There was talk from uh, Dave Meltzer from the Wrestling Observer that uh, Mauro wasn't in the greatest of shape going into the weekend, still uh, not particularly in the right frame of mind. Uh, we do have an update on him this morning, though. That's right, uh, coming direct from Dave Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer, uh, saying that Ronaldo's situation has improved, but he's not sure that he'll be back for this coming uh, week's episode of NXT, but WWE are keeping in touch with him, and the, the I guess the most important thing here is that he is said to be doing better. That's, yeah. that's the quote here. Marrow is doing better. We don't know if we'll see him on Wednesday, as I say. Um, I, I just hope, I hope he's alright. Uh, Corey yeah. did the, the apology last week, which was 
half-assed to say the least, I think. Mm, it's, it's, it's a shame that it's come to us. I think we're all learning a little bit something about using Twitter. Um, <laughs> and I'm certainly learning a lot more about using Twitter in the sense that it's, it, it can be a bit... Like, I know what I know what Corey Graves is like. I'm able to step out of this and go. Corey Graves said, oh, "If what he says is true, is I was trying to start a wrestling angle." It's just not true. I don't, I don't buy it for a second. You don't sure, buy okay, it. Okay, yeah, sure. But even so, even so, because I because even so, if you're doing something like that, like you have to you have to understand that people are only seeing the words. They're not seeing the, your tongue planted ever so slightly in your cheek. They are not seeing the nudge and the wink to the camera. They are not seeing any of that. They're just seeing words written down, which is why you get so many people get so het up with stuff on Twitter for for the reason, the sense that you you can't sell your true intention over it. Yeah. If you know what I mean. I still I still think if that was even your intention, <laughs> yeah. I still think it's a dick move. I still think yeah, there was yeah, nothing agreed. to gain from doing it. I still think what Corey Graves put was a dick thing to put. And and especially when you know somebody who's had an issue, had is, 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 mental health issues like this. Um, but regardless, I think if that is, if it, I, I'd like to think he would know better than to go like, yeah, you know, you know intention. Surely. Be more compassionate, be a better yeah. person. I hate Twitter. It, 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 genuinely, if, if, if... I'm going off it this year, I'll be honest. No, if, if, I, if I wasn't doing this job, there's just no way that I'd be using it. All no. social media, I realise now that it just makes me miserable. And I, I think I, I care about it as well. One of the first mm. things I do when I wake up is press that little blue bird. And I, why should I care? <laughs> I, I just don't care. I've muted half of the people that I follow anyway. Especially yeah. you. That's fine. <laughs> it's not true. You know what? It's not true. I mute me too. <laughs> I, I found out that I, I figured out on Sunday. I haven't been on Facebook for about two months, and this is what I used to live on it. Oh, I saw your post. And I, I went on the thing. And I was just like, Do you know what? I'm sorry, I haven't been here. I'm just been living my life. Good. Good. Sorry about that. But here's a here's a funny picture of me and Mr. Puppy. We should all we should all do that more, shouldn't yeah. we? Yeah. Because it's, I don't think it is. I don't think it's good for one's health. To. Can we, <laughs> where, can where we is have? This going? Where is this right. Going? This week we're all coming off Twitter, right? All right. <laughs> no, this we've week... got to retweet stuff because we've got to make money. Give us the subscribe and then come off Twitter. <laughs> have a... Are you good? Are you good? Are you happy? I'm all right. Mr. Uh, Poppy happy. Mr. Poppy Mr. happy. Mr. Poppy happy. Mr. Poppy happy. <laughs> watch, watch Ross get treacle and feathers. Yes. <laughs> it's a treat. Have a lovely Monday. See ya. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section down below. You can support us on Patreon by going to patreon.com forward slash cultaholic. Lastly, don't forget to hit subscribe and join us.